subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can install load testing libraries on visual studio enterprise so let's begin the video so first of all i'm going to open the browser of my computer and here i have microsoft visual studio website opened up so make sure you that you download the enterprise version of visual studio and not the other versions so we're just going to press on keep and the download will start so i'm going to open the setup now it's going to install microsoft visual enterprise 2022 we're going to press continue from here and now first of all it's going to download the setup and then it's going to install it so you need to make sure that you install the enterprise version of microsoft visual as only in this way you can install the load testing libraries and you can do load testing on microsoft visual and you're going to need an id or you need to register so that you can use it so here we're going to press on individual components and here we're going to type debug or debug and here on the debugging fold uh, section here you can see debugging and testing we need to download or install all of these libraries which are going to be used for load testing on microsoft visual so i'm just going to select all of them and on the lower right side you can see the total space required so the total space is 7.16 gb so that's cool that you need get to know how much space is required so now i'm going to press on install while downloading so it's going to install multiple libraries and download them at the same time uh, same time as well add workloads i'm going to press on install again and now you can see visual studio enterprise 2022 starting download so from now it's going to mainly depend on the speed of your internet connection on how fast it can download the file and how fast it can install it mainly your internet and your computer speed matters in this case so i'm going to fast forward the video until the download is completed so around 99 percent installation has completed and we are done done installing we are going to press on ok from here so now in order to check if the libraries have been installed or not we can press on modify and it's going to show you the libraries again on individual components we're going to go down to the debug and testing section and we need to make sure that all the libraries have been installed you can see that all of them are checked which means they have been installed we are going to press on close we are going to close the visual installer and now we are going to open visual studio enterprise so we are going to type visual studio 2022 on our windows search bar and for the first time again i told you you need to have an account on microsoft so that you can uh, use a trial version or if you want to buy the enterprise version or if you are working for a company like I have the account for my university, I can use it for Visual Studio. So I'm just going to sign in to my Visual Studio using my university ID. So now here it's going to ask whether we need to import an older project or we can make a new project. We're going to just press on create a new project to see if the libraries have been installed. And you can just search for a library like I'm going to be testing web and you can see it shows the library web performance and load test project i'm going to select it press on next make sure that the default location is selected and we're going to press on create so if it's showing your like in my case web and load test project which means that your load testing libraries have been installed on visual studio and now you can perform load testing on different project as you can see on the right side as well web test is available anyways guys in this way you can install load testing libraries on visual studio enterprise i hope you like this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below other than that thank you for watching and stay safe